Hey guys, back with another controller video, Bluetooth controller video for a Tesla. Had somebody in the comments recently ask me on my last video if the uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons could be connected to the Tesla. I'm going to show you how to connect these and I'll also show you a list of all of the controllers that, um, that I have verified that will work and some that won't. Um, I have those in the description for you as well um, with links to the controllers if you're interested. Um, so what you're going to want to do to connect the Joy-Cons, very similar process. So you may already have your Bluetooth icon in your system tray. If you don't, you can simply click these three dots. You can locate the Bluetooth icon there. Um, I already have it in my tray. When that pops up, you will get um, a list of connected devices as well as the option to connect another phone. If you go ahead and hit connect phone, what you'll see on the screen at that point is devices that are connected, but also devices that are just stored here, not necessarily actively connected. It doesn't have the green dot, so it's just they're there. You can see that I have my phone, which is connected now, um, a separate phone, and then um, the controller that the Xbox wireless controller that I did in the last video. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say add a new device. And then we're going to search for this device, but we're not going to do that yet. I need to disconnect the grips here. And if we just push that little button there, you can do this. So, so I'll set that aside. On the, the Joy-Con controllers, you'll see there's a little black button here. That's how you pair on this device. So I'm just going to hold that down. Goes into pairing mode. You can see the lights flashing. And then we'll go ahead and hit start search. Once you have the light um, flashing like that, we'll click start search. And right away, you can see it says Joy-Con R. This is the right side. So I'll click that button and hopefully that will move it over. And there you go, it's connected. Now I'm gonna try and connect the second one. I'm gonna do the same thing. Uh, we're gonna say add new device and you'll immediately see right down here, it says you cannot have two, I can have more. You cannot search for Bluetooth devices while two are already connected. So those two green dots there show that it's two connected. You can only have two devices connected at once which means, a little unfortunate, but it means that you can't really have two controllers going while you have your phone. And I use my phone as the key, so I would essentially need to disconnect that to, to play two wireless controllers at the same time. Um, for now, I'm just gonna disconnect the right one. So you can click, uh, not forget device, that'll remove it out of the tray. You just click to disconnect. The green dot goes away, but it moves it into kind of a stored status. We're gonna do the same thing here where we hold down the button, get it into pair mode. I'm going to say add new device and start search. And there you go. Joy-Con is there. Joy-Con L. So we'll wait for that to pop in. There it goes. Now we'll go into the arcade. Again, if you don't have the icon in your tray, just click the three dots. I have arcade there. So we'll find a game. We'll play Cuphead. Now you see that it says play game already because it detects the controller. If that was not there, uh, I'm doing it right after I connected it, so it's there. But if it was gray, you just have to restart your controller. Power it off, power it on, and it should, it should turn blue. Um, I'm going to click play game. And you can see here the controller's still active. If it was if it had gone dormant, you may need to push some buttons to, to make it active again. Uh, but it says press any button to start. You have options here. Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to go back. And so there you go. So now you can use the controller uh, Bluetooth connected to, um, to, to Cuphead or to any of the games here. So that's how you do it. Let me show you um, some of the other controllers I've connected. What controllers actually work with this vehicle? These are the ones that I've tested and I'll show you um, what does work. Uh, we just did the Joy-Cons. They work separately, uh, broken out of here or as a complete unit um, if you connect just the two of them and disconnect your phone uh, in this grip then the Joy-Con, the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con will work. Um, we've tested uh, in, in another video the Xbox controller here. This is I believe an Xbox One controller. Um, the Nintendo Switch controllers that look like this, Power A is where they're from. Uh, these both have been verified and work. Uh, another similar uh, Xbox controller um, Xbox One controller. What has not worked, so I tried the Oculus Quest 2 that does not uh, locate on Bluetooth. And then this um, Xbox controller, Xbox 360 controller, um, does not work as well. It looks very similar to something like this controller. The only difference here is that um, it does not have this third button. 
or and the, the trackpad looks a little bit different as well. So if you have the one that has the button here in the middle with the square and the arrow, that will not work. This one um, without that button does work. So hopefully that helps.